Welcome biologists to this session on classification and evolution where we're looking at the first bit of spec point C. So we're going to focus here on the five kingdoms. Now in the previous video we looked at where the taxon of kingdoms lies which is just below domains and we need to know about these five kingdoms here in terms of what makes them different from each other. So in each one you need to know in those kingdoms are they uni or multicellular so are they made of one or many cells how does it feed? Is it saprotrophic, heterotrophic or autotrophic? So saprotroph is something that feeds on dead or decaying matter. Heterotrophic is something that gets its organic material from something else. So for example, um, like a mammal like us eating another um, animal of some sort or plant of some sort. And an autotroph is something that makes its own food from an inorganic matter. So for example, um, plants are photoautotrophs. They make their own food from light. We also need to know some main facts, for example, what the cell wall is made of. Is it a multinucleate? So does it have many nuclei within one cell? Do they replicate using spores? And do they have membrane bound organelles? So if you wanna pause the video and try and figure out yourself what each of these five kingdoms include, that might be a good idea. I'm going to move on now to show you what each of these kingdoms consists of. So those are the definitions that I just mentioned before. If you need to pause that and reread them, you can do. But a prokaryote, everything in here in the red box is taken directly from the mark scheme. So they have no membrane-bound organelles. They have a cell wall which is made of peptidoglycan. They're heterotrophic, autotroph and saprotroph. And they're also unicellular. Protosister, for example, algae, these have membrane bound organelles, they are eukaryotes. They have a cell wall, but you don't need to know what it's made of because it varies in its composition. The heterotroph and autotrophic, unit or multicellular. Fungi, these have membrane bound organelles, these are eukaryotes again. They have a cell wall made of chitin and they eat by heterotrophic and saprotrophic means. These guys also reproduce by releasing spores from hyphae um, and then they spores the land on whatever it is that they, they are going to grow on and they then um, reproduce these fruiting bodies again called the hyphae. They also uh, multinucleate as well. And they can also be multi or unicellular. Plants, uh, so these are your normal plants, ferns and flowering plants so we should know already from um, cell structure right at the beginning of the year that they have membrane bound organelles because they're eukaryotes for example they have chloroplasts they do have a cell wall made of um, cellulose they are autotrophic because they perform photosynthesis they are photo autotrophs and they're also multicellular animals for example worms insects fish birds mammals reptiles and humans so again, we should know that these are eukaryotic organisms, so therefore they have membrane-bound organelles. They don't have a cell wall, and they are heterotrophic and multicellular. So that's that first bit of the spec point done here. This is what part one of this spec point. Um, now I'm going to show you a typical exam question that you might get for this kind of spec point. So um, here we have here we have a very simple exam question. This is what our class is a grade E kind of question. You're literally just filling in the blanks here. This last one here is a bit more of a grade A question because it's you suggesting you're applying your knowledge to this bit here. So as I keep telling you, you need to be underlining and highlighting keywords within the question. So here, for example, I've just circled the complete in the table. That's what we're being asked to do here in this question. So if you want to pause the video now and have a go at doing that, that's a good idea. So the answers for that, and that first one, a prokaryote, it could be either one of them. In this next one here, because it tells us here as a cell wall made of various types of different compositions, we know that's protosister. We should know that fungi are eukaryotes, so they have membrane-bound organelles. By process of elimination, we should work out plants are here, and that we should know that we, they have a cellulose cell wall. And then we should know as well that membrane-bound organelles are present within animals. And again, this last one, underline and highlight in keywords any question. So key thing here, it has many nuclei and we're suggesting a kingdom. So for this one, the answer here is fungi. So guys, good luck with your exams. All the best. Remember, don't use the words it, they, amount and size. You use good scientific terminology to explain your answers. All the best.